trips, the All tricks. Right. Before we do that, let's we've we've had listeners wait a while. Let's Sorry. go through some of these calls as quickly as we can, because then we have a couple of interesting items in the studio that people can see on the video cameras. First off, Robert from Seal Beach, California, is on the phone. Robert. He has something he says belonged to Hitler. Robert, good morning. Good morning. I have one testicle belonged to Hitler. <laughs> oh gosh. Sorry. Is it, is it, what kind of jar is it in? Right. What kind of how was it preserved? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right. I can just picture you being very clinical. What kind of it. connect collection is it? okay. All right, Hi, Robert, Robert. What do you have? Well, five days before the war was over, we were in Salzburg, Austria, and uh, uh, God bless some, you already, Robert. And we went <laughs> went up to Hitler's Birch's Garden home, and we went through the home. It was bombed out by the British. And we went upstairs where all the bedrooms and meeting rooms were. It was pretty bad. And I looked over at the, the fancy bedroom, had big doors and big drapes inside. And there was a key left in the door. So I went over and took the key out of the door and put it in my pocket. Wow. It's the key to Hitler's wow. heart. Wow. Yeah. Oh and God. then uh, I went inside and I had these big, tall, gold drapes. And hey I Robert, have you written any of this down? I have you sat down and apostles. have you said have you written any of this down about where you were and what you found? Are we able to do that? Like my dad was in the Pacific Theater and he's not really able to do that, you know. But if you can write th- whatever you recall that doesn't make you upset down, it would be very helpful to you and to your heirs. Dear Hitler, I have your key and your grapes. <laughs> hey, this, is, <laughs> this, is this is incredible. Well, right. this, is this is incredible. Is incredible. So yeah. what you have is a key, and what else? I have the key to the bedroom door. The key to the bedroom door. Cut a couple of tassels off the gold drapes. Okay, good job. (laughs) And we went down and got in the wine cellar. Oh. (laughs) So I don't have any wine. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) You took that that out in your belly. (laughs) That was a $45,000 buzz. I I know. Hope you enjoyed that. Sir, you were were part of an amazing part of world history. That is really an incredible story. I was 94 years old, so (gasps) I'm one of the... One yeah. of the World War Two GIs. That's right. Still hanging around. Amazing. God love you. Thank you very much. Here's what you have. First of all, you have something that that you have to have access and opportunity, which is what you got. And that's what a lot of people don't have, which is why the value on this is going to be very, very high. What's going to be hard for my job is that if these pieces do not come to market regularly, it is difficult to give it a number. And you understand yeah, I have, why. I have the key in the safety deposit box. Smart, 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 good. Yeah, fine. So basically what I want you to do is write down what you can about what you remember of that particular day about that key. And then what we have to do is we wouldn't have no problem to authenticate the key. That's not really the issue. The issue is that the market has not seen one like that. But personal effects from Hitler and World War II items do come up to market very, very pop, very often. So what I'm doing now is going through my database of those personal types of effects. And they tend to come in on the low end about $5,000, on the high end about $20,000. But they have to be sold in a particular area where they're able to sell them without too much controversy. Because even today, Nazi memorabilia does come with its controversy. People are still quite upset, and admirably so. So value on your piece probably on the low end, about $10,000, if you can trace where you've been. And that's for the key, not for the part of the draperies. Would it be a good idea for Robert to uh, get with a historian or or some sort of person, and maybe even on video, tell his story? Video might be the best thing, Bob. I didn't think of that. Video is probably an easier way for you to do it at this point. Maybe, you know, you sit down with one of your children or your grandchildren, have them, just tell them the story. On your iPhone, and with detailed descriptions of the company you were in and all of the details, as many as you can remember. Whatever you remember. I also have a a labor book that I took off of a prisoner and that uh, has Hitler's signature on yeah, it, yeah. and uh, I don't know what that might be worth. There, if it has Hitler, Hitler's original signature, yeah, and says, we can put uh, you in that place. A, well, they give all his statistics on it. He was, he was from the Labor Party in 1939. Right, right. Robert, we bottom, want his signature. That's yeah, where the, the bottom, money is. At the bottom of the page, it's, it has Der Fuhrer. It has a line under Der Fuhrer. And then it has Hitler's signature right over that line. That's printed, sweetheart. 
That's not his original signature. That's printed, and then those are distributed. No, they, they tell me that they, he didn't have a stamp that in those days. No, no, that's printed. In they 39? printed on in 39. Okay. They printed well, onto that piece of paper. To be sure, to be if sure the, someone the from your family could something. bring it to Dr. Laurie, would that be something to be... Sure, I can take a look at it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Robert, thank you, Robert. Thank you for your service and for being such a wonderful man and calling us on the phone. Well, thank you, and uh, and if uh, you want to really get a good look at me, I'm in a book that came out, uh, The Last Good War, mm. and it's uh, put out by Random House, and I'm on page 36 and 37 with Hitler's key. Wow! I, yeah, thank you very much. That you also can helps find that in the, in the internet. So that's also more yeah, documentation. Look on the right? internet. That's look right. on the last good war. That's why don't just let that key go for yeah, nothing. and then hmm. look on page yeah. thirty six and thirty seven, and you'll see me with the key, and you'll see a little bit about my military time. And wow! Thank well, you, Robert. That key will yeah, probably could go. put a great granddaughter or grandson through college. That's that's worse. Yeah, we went, That's an exaggeration, Joe. I don't go all crazy the way from now. <laughs> community college. Community college. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to take <laughs> right. Dr. Lori's job. Vocational here. college. Beauty school. Yeah, Dental well, hygienist. Beauty school. Yeah. Right. 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 We went from we went from Normandy to Salzburg, Austria, and I'm still here. Oh, you wow. weren't you weren't an easy company, were you, sir? What? Were you around easy company? I was in the artillery, and we were attached to the. Second French Armored Division. Oh, uh, wow. France. Man. Wow. Band Thank brothers. you. So we drew their rations. We got wine and cognac in our rations. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. We were <laughs> drinking French all the way through World War II. It yeah, was right. a good war. Yeah. <laughs> thank Robert, you. thank you very much. All the best. It is so hard to go to another caller after Robert. Yeah. But not to I got diminish. A, I got a Dunkin' Donuts collectible cup. <laughs> <laughs> circa, circa That's two, my life, Spike. Two, circa 2006, maybe <laughs> early 2007. Hard to tell with a so, show. You know, I mean, I do that every day. All right, I do so that every with day. no disrespect to you guys, no. we gave him a really long time, but obviously he was... Uh, I talked to that man for an hour. ...very much deserving. I have a ratchet set that Ving Rames gave me. <laughs> Ving Rames was in uh, two All right, now, sh- All right, that good cleansed our palate. Thank you. Now, <laughs> to the really cool stuff from the audience. Dan and Olympia, go ahead. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Good. What do you got? Yeah, I got an old uh, phonograph. Uh, it's an upright. Uh, it's got... I think it's 20 records. RCA Victor. RCA Victor. Hi, Dan. Uh, I'm jumping in here. It's Dr. Lori. Um, sure. RCA Victor? Uh, I don't recall what brand it is right offhand. It's is it an Edison? You don't know it all. It's a hand crank on the side, and the lid lifts up on it. Okay. Does it it's run? The, uh, yes. got the quarter-inch records on it. Okay. The records are and 10 bucks a record. Uh, okay. The speakers still work? Uh, yes. Okay. You have? Do you have a a horn? I'm uh, sorry. Big horn that comes up the top. Yeah, the kind of dog used to oh, sit next to. Yes. Okay. You have the horn. Great. Usually people don't. Yes. The horn alone is worth four hundred bucks, and the rest of the standing cabinet, which I'm going to say stands somewhere around four feet ten, four feet eleven inches high. Correct. Okay. Value on that's about a thousand bucks. All right. That's oh. retail. That means okay. if you go and buy another one, that's how much you're going to pay. If you try to sell it to an auction, they're only going to bring you half price. If you want to sell it to a dealer, they're going to give you 10%. Mm-hmm. You got it now? Retail's yes, high. Ma'am. Okay. Right. Okay. That's a Thank nice Thank you very piece. much. Thank you. You are great. Okay. Let's do lightning round because I have one, two, three, four, five, Dude, six. Every time you drop one, two more get on. So. I know, but no more. <laughs> no, no more. I have seven people and we have about five minutes to do them. Can you do that? Go. All right. <laughs> Up first, Tom and Kenmore. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll make it quick. It's uh, I have a traveling altar that uh, a priest would take around to somebody. Uh, you have a sick call, head. Tom. Was it Tom? Pardon me. Yeah, Tom. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you. I'm Dr. Lori. I apologize profusely, but we're trying to get through a lot of people. What you have is called a sick call kit. They date between 1900 and 1910. Typically, they take them around, and they can do last, last rites. There might be a little chalice inside. There might be an image of a crucifix. There might be a sculpture of a crucifix inside what looks like a wooden shadow box. Value on it about ninety dollars. Yeah, it's actually a silver crucifix inside. Okay, Duh. 95. You're so dumb, Lori. Oh, Whatever. By the way, what you get speed here? round. Hurry up. Talk to these people. Thank you very much. I praise the stuff, but, you know. Thank no, you, Tom. No. Then you talk to Tom. Come I, to the home show, I Tom. I expect Lori to go, 
Hi, Lori. Yes, I know what you have. You have a, you're a psychic, too. I you am. It's ball. ASI. It's Bring Antique Scene Investigations. Jesse go. in Longview, go. Hi, I've got a China set. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Not China, man. China. I want you to collect art, antiques, furniture, and jewelry. Not China. Not huh? this China. All wait a minute. The time. Wait a minute. What if I've it got was... 700 Beanie Babies? How am I doing for college what, money? What if it was Hitler's <laughs> kitchen? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you got to be with this guy. Anniversary for my grandpa. All right. Yeah. Is there a mark on the bottom of it, honey? Mark on the oh. bottom. It's called the Franciscan. Before they oh. sold out. Franciscan wear. Good. Okay. Do you have a service for twelve? Pardon. Service for twelve. How many dishes do you have? Uh, eight. Service for eight. Right. Eight people can have the the the, yeah. the dish, the dinner dish, the bread dish, the soup bowl, the cup and saucer, the whole deal. Ten four. Four hundred dollars for the whole set. And it doesn't matter if it's what it's made of like the blue French or the blue hunter is a model. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs>